guys and welcome back to Young Chef's Diary. So, you were making yourself a beautiful evening sandwich and you realized you ran out of mayo. And now you have a couple of options. First is running to the closest grocery store, if it's really that close. The second option is skipping the mayo, but that's not really an option to me. And third option is making your own mayonnaise at home in a couple of minutes with ingredients that you probably already have. And I'll show you how to do that in this video for the Young Chef's Diary. Nowadays we have a lot of kitchen gadgets that will help us to make mayonnaise a lot easier, such as KitchenAid. But for the sake of old times, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, with a simple wire whisk. So first of all, I'm going to take an empty pot, cover it with a kitchen cloth, and put a mixing bowl on the top. This will help to prevent the bowl from moving all over. Then we're going to separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. We're going to use three egg yolks. Then we're going to add a generous pinch of salt, a couple of drops of lemon juice. You can also use a white wine vinegar, a little teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and we're going to whisk everything together. At first, we're simply whisking the primary ingredients without any oil. The reason for doing that is that we want to aerate the egg yolks. Once the egg yolks are aerated, it's going to be so much easier to incorporate the oil. Now you might be wondering what oil to use. Well, if you want to make a neutral mayo, then simply use an oil that doesn't have too much flavor. For example, a canola oil or rapeseed oil. Or if you would like to make a flavored mayo, you can use an infused oil, such as hemp oil, sesame seed oil, pumpkin seed oil, leek oil, or any other oil that you like. If you would like to learn how to make infused oils, I made a video about it, and the link is going to be in the description box below. So once the egg yolks are aerated, we will start to introduce the oil. We're gonna start with a couple of drops at the time. There's nowhere to rush, However, if you are going to introduce the oil too quickly, your mayonnaise will split. So just a couple of drops at a time, and once you see that everything combines nicely, you can start introducing more oil. You can incorporate an insane amount of oil into this. However, the texture is going to change. The more oil you put, the harder and thicker your mayo will be. If it is a little too thick, don't worry. Add a little splash of water and that is going to fix everything. Once it reaches your desired consistency, check the seasoning, adjust it, and that's it. It's ready to go. So there you have it guys, a homemade mayonnaise. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to Young Chef's Diary channel to never miss out on new videos. Leave a comment below what kind of videos you would like to see her on this channel in the future. And as always thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time with another new video. Culinary fact. If you want to put on some weight consider eating mayonnaise because one tablespoon contains 90 calories.